Hello everybody, today we are going to train what we have already learned. So, we are going to create a calculator, very simple one. It will be able to add, to subtract, to multiply and divide two numbers. Okay, uh, and let's create two variables that will store our numbers, right? So, double variable number one and variable number two. And now let's ask for variable number one, user of our program. So, uh, enter first number. Let's ask for the second number also. And let's take it from the input like that. Now we can run it and as you can see we can type first and second number. Okay. And uh, let's ask our user of our program uh, what does he want to do now. So for example what do you want to do with the numbers? And for example you can add them. You can subtract them. You can also multiply them and divide. Uh, and let's make end line after each guy here so it will be easier for us to read and now as you can see it looks like that 5 for example 10 and now what do you want to do with that numbers and he's asking for one of that character so we need to store a character somewhere so let's uh, create character and let's call it decision decision and let's switch that decision. So let's create something like that. And in case our decision is plus, let's send to the output that variable number one plus variable number two is equal to variable number one plus variable number two. So we are using the arithmetic operator here and let's make break here. Of course we need to also add default operation so if somebody make um, here, here's something wrong so let's say to him you type wrong character for example, let's check if it's working. Mm, of course, we have to add here a column. For example, 10 and 5. And of course, <laughs> we need to take the decision, sorry. <laughs> now everything will be fine. 10, 5, and he's asking what we want to do with that. I want to add. The two, num two numbers and as you can see everything is working fine. Cool. So mm, let's do now other cases. Minus multiplying dividing and let's change here all the things and divide. Of course we can't divide by zero so when we do something like that 10 now 0 and I would say I want to divide as you can see uh, we can do it so we should do something like that here. Um, if 
number two that we are sending here so if variable number two is not equal to zero then we can easily divide the numbers but otherwise we will send that you can't divide by zero so now as you can see when we do something like for example mm, 10 and 0 and now I want to divide you can divide by 0 it's wrong okay and we can also uh, do something like that if variable 2 so if value in var2 is not equal to 0 that instruction will be executed uh, you should notice that I told you that condition is true always true if the number here right if the number here is anything but zero it can't be zero only so now when somebody type here for example var to 10 so if 10 10 is true so we can divide that thing but if variable 2 is of course zero we can do that but let's change for example something like that and as you can see everything is working fine so let's comment that it's the same right that notation is the same as that one okay now I will teach you something like that a uh, system clear screen that thing is going to clear our console output let's check it out now when I for example type here 10 then 5 and I will subtract that things as you can see everything got cleared but of course uh, of course uh, everything after the clear screen so the things here aren't cleared they are going to be outputted a bit later okay so um, maybe we should also do something like a uh, dead hey guy here do you want to continue that program yes or no we should ask something like that because maybe mm, that guy don't want to run every time that program again right and let's create character decision to here or we can use that guy here also but well, let's create another one and let's take him here scene the decision to and if our decision is equal to yes or or it is equal to yes the capital yes right because somebody can type um, y um, in lowercase or somebody can do it in uppercase so we have to check both cases and if yes we will use something what is called will go to and don't use it <laughs> I'm using it only because we don't know something like loops uh, we will uh, try to we will discover them in, in other lessons so don't worry I'm just going to show you that thing now because we have to use it uh, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do it so go to beginning for example now when I do something like that I can create beginning for example here and now when somebody type y uh, y or why in uppercase our program we start again from that p 
place because of that thing because we are saying go to beginning okay so let's check it out mm. uh, sorry of course uh, we are we are having here a character so we should do the thing like that compare now let's try it enter 10 and 5 and now I will for example multiply the things and do you want to continue that program and I will say yes I want to do it and now as you can see we are again asked enter the first number enter the second number and other things like that so 10 5 and divide now and no I don't want to continue that program and as you can see execution of the program uh, is stopped when I type no or anything else we can also clear the screen here so it will be easier to read uh, maybe also we'll add the end line here uh, let's check it out 10, 5 and subtract yes I want to try that thing again 5, 10 and multiply and ok that's, that's all ok so now let's check what is really happening here? What is our compiler doing from the total beginning? Everything. It will be good training for us. Let's remind everything. Okay, so compiler is like, hey, I have to include the IO stream library here. And because of that, I'm go uh, going to be able to use many things like C out, C in and some other things that we don't know <laughs> right now and let's use the names from std so I don't need to every time type something like that okay now I know that I have to run our program from the main function here I have to uh, reserve the space in memory for two variables variable 1 variable 2 and uh, here I know, oh, I have got the label here, so it might be used. It doesn't need to, but it might be used. Here I have to clear screen instantly. Well, uh, there was nothing on screen, so I don't have anything to clear right now, but okay. Now I'm going to send to the output, enter the first number, uh, and add at the end the uh, enter and I'm going to uh, wait for that f for the number uh, from the input from our user right and he's uh, waiting for that now our user is doing something so he's typing something on the keyboard for example 5 he's asking, asking for another number our user is typing it and now he's sending the output all the things here and uh, we are waiting for the, uh, for decision of our user and we are also clearing the screen again and now we are switching the value of our decision and in case it is the plus we are sending uh, to the output uh, variable number one uh, is uh, equal to a plus variable two is equal to variable one plus variable two and in case it's minus we are doing that thing, in case it's multiplying we are doing that thing <laughs> in case it is dividing uh, we have to also check uh, if uh, the variable, if the second variable is uh, not equal to zero because we can't divide by zero so um, we are checking that thing here and if somebody types here something wrong other other characters we are going to type the wrong character and uh, here we are again asking uh, do you want to continue that program and uh, our user have to decide and if he decides to to continue we uh, our program is going to again run from that place and please again don't use that thing I know that you are like now wow it's so cool go to wow please don't use it because when your programs will be longer for example 500 lines and you will use more than five of that guys uh, it's almost impossible to read code like that there are other better ways 
do that things but we are just right now training we don't know everything about the C++ languages don't worry we'll know better things so that's all in this lesson thank you very much